Hey everyone, I was not planning on doing a video today because it's been, well it's late, it's um after 4.30 here and the kids are home and really this is normally mom and kid time and homework time and all that, but I was so excited today because um, I got a package in the mail today. I don't do swaps, let me just start by saying that, and it's not for any horrible reason, um, it's just because I promised my husband when I started doing these videos there were some things that, um, sorry I'm playing with my shirt, but there were some things I promised him that I would and wouldn't do when I did these, and one of these was give out my personal address. Um, you know, I know that almost 99.9% .9 of you are perfectly normal people who are just like me, um, you know, moms or what have you, and mean well, but for that 0.1% out there that aren't so wonderful, you just have to be careful. And so anyway, I promised him that I wouldn't give out our personal address, and I don't have a P.O. box, and I'm not going to go set one up, and really, I just feel like I want you guys to spend your money on yourselves. Um, I do these videos to share what I learn with other people. That's I get joy out of helping somebody else. Even if I never actually see your face, I feel like we're all connected this way. And you know, I, I appreciate the sentiment. I mean, who wouldn't want to get presents? But um, I just, if I set it up, I don't do this for money. I don't get paid. And the payment is the comments and the support online from all of y'all. So that's, that's what I get out of this. But <laughs> when I did um, my subscriber contest, I sent the winner a package and it was international. So customs doesn't really let you leave a blank address on the customs form. So of course I had to put my name and address on there. And so she got it. And what does she do? Um, first of all, her name is Nadine. She goes by, um, well, I think you'd say Dean, Dean, Dean. Um, anyway, um, so she has my address, and that little stinker sent me back a package thanking me for the package I sent to her, which I am so grateful for, and I am so excited, which is why I'm doing this video, because I feel like a little kid at Christmas time right now. So I wanted to share with all of y'all the, the goodies that I got, and for you international viewers, I guess this is fun for you, because you could actually get the stuff I'm showing. And for those of you in the U.S. and Canada, I'm sorry that I'm gloating over stuff that I got and you can't get, but um, maybe maybe we can um, figure out a way for some of these products to get here in the States. So I'll research some of this because I feel like everyone should be able to get this stuff. Anyway, um, first of all, it came in a, in a cute little yellow box and she wrote me this really like two-page letter, which was so sweet. Um, and what was really helpful was she listed everything that was in here and what they are. And um, and then a little message in German because I told her I, I would love to learn another language. Um, and uh, and she and you have lovely handwriting. Let me just say I'm very impressed. So I'm keeping this. It's like my first pen pal letter I've ever had. So let's start with two lipsticks. I got two lipsticks. They're the P2 Pure Color lipsticks. Um, one is in Sunset Boulevard, and the other one is in Rodeo Drive. And I have to admit, I haven't played with any of this stuff. I literally just opened up the box, but I couldn't resist, and I did use um, one of the lipsticks. And I have on Rodeo Drive, and to be fair, I also used a lip liner and a lip gloss on this, but let me just, just, let me just start with this. So Rodeo Drive is the one I've been playing with, and it's this gorgeous nude color. And it's on my lips. They make my lips look kind of pouty, actually, which is hard considering I have fish lips. And I'm going to try and swatch it. I don't even want to waste it. It's very creamy. Oh, wow. It's, it's real creamy, and it's, it's just it's gorgeous. I don't know if the lighting is great. This is not the best time of day to be doing a video, but I couldn't wait. So that's, that's Rodeo Drive, and it's just a gorgeous peachy pink nude, just the perfect nude and it goes on like a dream and then Sunset Boulevard I have not swatched yet this is more of a pinky rose hmm I don't know if this is coming out as yellow as it is on my and it's not a lot different it's just pinkier and that's right there wow I can't believe these are drugstore quality lipsticks because packaging and Oh, they smell good too. They're just, they're wonderful. And um, going along with the Rodeo Drive, I got this, she sent me this lip liner, and I think it's called 
B-U, B-E, Bijou. I think Bijou, I don't know. B-E-Y-U. There, there it is. And um, it's a lip liner and it's soft liner, color 515 for lips and more. Let me tell you, I have never seen, it's a nude lip liner, I have never seen a lip liner that actually, in nude like that, it's right there, that actually covers my lips. I've had nude lip liners before, but they leave nothing, the pigment is so low that it leaves no trace on my lips, but this is amazing. I don't know where you can get this brand other than Germany, but if you can get this, I highly recommend it. And then on top of this, we can get Essence Triple XL lip gloss, but I have not seen the nudes collection in the states. And this is called Nude Kiss, and it's almost the exact same color. It was basically in between the two, and it's um, what would you call this? Like a pinky nude with shimmer. I think it's silver shimmer, and I have it on top, but I'll swatch that as well. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> These all smell really good, and that's it there. I'm not sure about the color here, guys, but I'm just so excited. I can't wait to wait till the light gets better. That's the lip products. Then she sent me, this is so cool. It's P2 Perfect Look Kajal, and she says in her notes that this is her sister, uh, no, what did she say? It's the best staying power ever. And it's an eyeliner, a Kajal. And what's so cute is it has a little sharpener on this end. See? Just fits in there. And then on this end is the, and she sent it in brown. I think it's brown. Brown. And, um, it, oh, wow. It's super soft. Like, the barest of touches. And it goes right on. It's gorgeous. I will definitely be using this. This is great. And then she sent me this eyeshadow by what did she say um rival de loop eyeshadow she said it's just a nice color and it's in 06 aubergine and i all i did was take off the um seal i haven't and it comes with this cute little brush it's cute i mean obviously i wouldn't use it but i just i've never seen one shaped like that before and it says it's matte so i'm guessing it's matte and it's very soft. Oh, ooh. It's like, um, it's aubergine. It's like a purpley brown color. It's really pretty. It's very soft. This would be, a, oops, this would be a great crease color or even a lid color washed out. It's a very pretty color. Good call, Dean. This is a beautiful. And then she sent me two nail polishes. And I can't wait. I did my nails, um, day before yesterday, but, and there's still not a chip on them, but I'm sorry, the nail polish is coming off. She sent me this P2 Color Victim in Dangerous. It reminds me, I mean, it reminds me a lot of Ski, young lady, I'm, you're all wet. Did you jump in the pool? Um, that was not tasty. Yeah. Anyway, it reminds me a lot of Ski. Ski till we drop um, without the shimmer. It reminds me actually a lot of the Sonia Kashuk teal that I was hoping would turn out well. So um, I've had horrible luck with the shade and other formulations. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see how this turns out. Because I love this color. And then this is kind of funny. She sent me this is Catrice Cosmetics. Um, and this is in From Dusk to Dawn. And it's that grige color I'd say it's a purpley gray taupe which is really funny because um well I'll finish I'll show you what else I picked up in the last couple of days and you'll laugh but I love this color I can't get enough of this color and all the variations thereof I love it so I can't wait to try this either I wish I had more fingers so I could just wear more colors and then she also sent me this body butter it's Alverde Natural Cosmetic I can't speak German but that's what it's called and um it's macadamia scented body lotion, and I have butter fingers today. This, the um, it's just white. It's nothing, no, no interesting color. But I did try this, and it's a really great formulation. I love, I like a thick, heavy kind of moisturizer on my hands, um, and this is perfect. So this will be going with me. This will be going with me when I travel. This is perfect. I'm gonna save it because it's the perfect size, and I love it. And then she also sent me, this is ridiculous, she sent me more stuff than I sent her. So now i got to send her more stuff because I feel terrible. 
It's a limited edition Maybelline New York blush. It's called... I mean, look at the packaging. For those in the U.S., have you ever seen anything like it? It's so cool. It's called My Blush. It's liquid blush. And I'm very excited to try this because Lisa Eldridge just did a whole video on liquid blush. Look at this. Oh, it's like blood. Look at that. Blah. And I don't know where there's a body part left. Oh, wow. It goes on like blood. But I imagine that it's... Oh, yeah. It really shears out. Um... Oh, that's cool. It's that nice flush. It looks like you've just come in from a cold winter day. So I can't wait to try that. And then lastly, I love this. I can't wait to try it. All the directions are in German. So I'll be entering this into Google Translator, but it's a chocolate mask. So I don't know whether to put it on my face or eat it, but I can't wait to try it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I've never done... Um, it's not really a swap because I wasn't expecting this. I've never gotten a gift of makeup in the mail before. I've never received anything from a viewer. I've never gotten anything international like this. There's a ton of firsts in this package, so thank you. I'm so excited. I can't wait to actually stop filming so I can go play with my makeup. But um, I also, I wanted, I think this should be purple day. I'm wearing a purple flannel shirt. I'm wearing purplish earrings. And I picked up some other purple things. So real quickly, because we don't have a lot of time, I've been searching for a dupe for my Chanel Paradoxal. I did a video on my disappointment with this color because it's beautiful in the package, but the shimmer doesn't come out. There's a new Revlon color called Perplex. Hello. And I saw a post online about this, and it seems like it's the color that I wanted Paradoxal to be. The shimmer does come out. So after I play with this color, I will be trying this color so I'll let you know how that goes and then I was in Walgreens last night looking for the perplex oh I found this at Ulta by the way they have it at Ulta in a special display case um the wet and wild sale is still going on so I picked up some more nail polishes because they were 50 cents 49 cents so I picked up this one it's called night prowl it's got all this glitter this would be a good toe color I picked up Eggplant Frost, which is, is another purple shimmer, no glitter. <clears throat> Again, I think better for the toes. And then I picked up this one called Rain Check, which is sort of a grayish, pale blue lavender. Um, so I definitely have a purple thing going. And to make it even worse, I've been searching for a great bag, a purse to travel with um, that can hold a lot of stuff. I can take it on the plane, but could also serve as a purse when I um, go to London or wherever I'm traveling. So I picked up this. Can you see this? I'll back up a little. I picked up this today at The Gap. It's purple and it has pocket zipper, 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 and then another pocket inside, more pockets inside. And you can either carry it like this, you know, or you can, it has this uh, strap, and it's like a deep purple microfiber. And I just think it's going to be great for traveling. So that is my little um, video for y'all today. And it's, I know the lighting isn't wonderful, but I just, I was so excited to get this stuff. I couldn't wait to, I couldn't wait till morning to film. Morning is the best light. So thanks for putting up with my not so great lighting. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me play with my new toys and I hope all of you are having a great day. I'll talk to y'all soon.